for Gabon. Well, it's their first time back in this tournament since winning the whole thing here in Morocco back in 2011, where they beat the hosts in the final. Went on to play in the Olympics the following year, where a certain Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang scored their first and so far only goal in Olympic football. So a bailer Saturn in sight arrived at the ground earlier this evening. And the coach is calling this do or die, make or break in their quest for a place in the semi-finals. Meanwhile, for Niger, a few injury niggles after that uh, defensive display against Egypt back on uh, Sunday. In this, their tournament debut. Certainly, not many people would have expected Niger to have managed to hold the defending champions to a draw in that opening match. However, they did get that in the end, and now it gives them a great platform to uh, go on and maybe even reach the semi-finals. A reminder that the top three teams in this tournament, so the two finalists and the winner of the third, fourth place playoff match the day before that final, will all go to next Olympics, or well, the Olympics next year, rather, in Paris. Plenty of players here looking to show off their skills. Tournaments like this also a real showcase for some of these players who may be bubbling under in the reserves of various teams dotted around Africa and Europe. A chance to showcase their skills and maybe get a move towards an even brighter future than they already have. is to be uh, an all or nothing from both of these teams probably both coming into it seeing this is their best chance to win a game Uh, the teams are out on the pitch here in Tangier with the knowledge, of course, that uh, Egypt beat Mali by one, a goal to nil earlier this afternoon, putting the uh, Olympic Pharaohs top of the table, one point ahead of Mali, leaving Niger and Gabon trailing behind. But the winner of this match will very...
national anthem of Niger pour l'honneur de la patrie. Idol, here we come there from the uh, Niger starting 11. Uh, quick uh, high fives and uh, fist pumps for all involved now. Then Ebela Saturnin has uh, rung the changes from their opening defeat against Mali. Four changes from that lineup. First up, uh, Jezreel Adome. For Francois Beccale in a goal, that one enforced after Beccale was sent off and therefore suspended for this game. Three changes further forward as well in midfield. Uh, Samaki Nze for Mbongui. There you see him, number 17. Also coming in, Randy Matuti for Floris Jave and Giovanni Mayulu for Hans Mbega. He should be tucking in just in behind the uh, captain Emmanuel of Verno will be spearheading the attack here tonight for Gabon in a game they really cannot afford to lose and really probably need to win a quick look at the officials then for tonight the men in black Gamu Youssef from Algeria the man with the whistle his assistants on the lines Adel Abane and Youssef Mahmoud Fourth official, Elmer Brook Mohammed from Libya. Also got uh, VAR, of course, in the house for this one. Mustafa Gorbal from Algeria in charge of that lot with his assistant Hamza Nasiri from Morocco. Quick look at the Niger lineup there. Well, perhaps no surprise at all. Busy man again tonight, you suspect. But how can the midfield do this evening? Sabo, Ishmael and Mumuni. The midfield three for Niger. Can they get a foothold in the game? Maybe provide some ammunition for the likes of Abdul. Bull Hassan up top. Well, the Gabon fans know how it feels to win this tournament. And they've waited 12 years to have another pop at it for Niger. Well, it's their first experience at this level for this age group. Some stars for the future, perhaps. Well, we're 
just about ready now to get this game underway. Lovely evening here in Tangier. Warm, a little bit sticky. Perfect football conditions and the pitch does look lovely. Despite the game between Egypt and Mali being played here earlier this evening. Egypt winning that 1-1-0. To go top of the group. The only way that can be changed by the end of the night is if uh, Niger win here by, and, uh, and score two goals or more in the process. So we're underway then. Match day two, Group B in the under-23 Africa Cup of Nations. Gabon in their usual yellow and blue strip. Kicking from right to left in this first half, and it's Niger quickly onto the attack down that left flank. Boulassan penalised as he tried to win the ball back. That's him there, the number 17. Gabon react. That 3 1 loss to Mali in their opening game, although straight onto the attack down the left hand side. Mumbo couldn't quite dig out across. Keeps the ball alive though for Gabon. And nice skills as well from Matuti. Starting off on the left hand side of the attack for the Panthers. Of course, uh, Gavon took a third minute lead in that opening game against Mali. It was going oh so well. And then keeper sent off on the stroke of half time for handling outside the box well they were already 2-1 down and to be fair Bacale uh, number one choice keeper had been uh, not having a good game up to that point either Jezreel and on the second choice goalkeeper here perhaps unintentional upgrade well won in the middle of the pitch there from Munze. Wins the free kick as well. Just uh, bumped into the back by Mumuni, the uh, Niger captain tonight. So wonder how the heroics of the game against Egypt will sit with the near team will it give them inspiration for this one or will they still be tired but this is lovely footwork and a little nudge on the edge of the area and I'm sure VAR will have a look at this it did look like the contact was outside the box there will be a check yeah, definitely just outside the box but this is a dangerous position now for Niger over the ball here. Looks like the option they're taking is uh, Michel Mbula, the centre-back, plays his football in Moldova with uh, Dinamo Otto. Two-man wall, despite the angle. Now, is this going to be a cross or maybe a shot? Five, six men in and around the area for... Somehow, 
Get on the merge with the ball. Mumbo dispossessed down in the far near corner. The throw will go Niger's way. Well, coach uh, Saturnin for Gabon in your picture there. Recognises that this is a, a young squad. A lot of the players, 18, 19, 20 years of age maximum, not many going above that. This is uh, not necessarily a team to win, built to win now, but it's a team to win in the future. In fact, a lot of these players, I think, would still be eligible for the next edition of this tournament in four years' time. For that matter, it's also true for a good half of the Niger squad as well. Giving the players time to uh, get used to playing with each other. Coming a more coherent unit, but they've given the ball away at the back here. Gabon and Niger on the attack, but the shot is badly scuffed by Keru. It all opened up for a moment for Niger. In the end, just a bit hasty with the right-footed shot. Ibrahim, Yahaha. Niger coach. I think he'll be encouraged by the start his team have made so far. They lacked quality in the final third against Egypt. Will they uh, find a bit more space and perhaps a little creative spark against Gabon this evening. Well, raking crossfield ball. Matuti couldn't quite get in there. One of the four new faces in the starting lineup. As a reminder, after the keeper was sent off, Gabon had made all five of their substitutions by the 46th minute by the start of the second half, rather, in that opening game against Mali. It was still making chances as well, despite being a man down. Kero looks a bit uh, puzzled that there's a whistle going against him on that one. I can. I think I can uh, agree with him as well. But now again, it opens up. Oh, this is re looking really good for Keiru, and he draws a great save. Here's the rebound. Fantastic last ditch tackle coming in. That was Unze, the midfielder, tracking back. Got Niger making the better chances in the opening moments of this match day two encounter in Group B. Heiru again, getting between centre-back and full-back, finding space. That was a good save. Jezreel Ando. A pretty busy second half against Mali. There's the shot from Keiru. It was a good, good height for the keeper, to be fair. Now another opportunity knocks. Five men in the area, another one by the D. Abdul Rahim is going to take this one for Liminas. Players just been warned against any shenanigans while trying to mark their man. It's pretty much man to man in there. Good ball in. Oh, headed away. The uh, pressure still on the Gabonese. up a snapshot from Danja. 
goes horribly wide. Seem to have a bit of time and space to do a little bit better than that. away. Cabot struggling to really to uh, even get possession at the moment. What a foul there, Samarke Inze. Just uh, felled a few yards outside his own area. Oh, his opposite number, Mul Hassan. Again, sloppy touches, but they get away with it, Gabon. And now Ngunga on the rampage down the right-hand side. No foul given. The ball eventually goes out for a goal kick. Not happening for the Panthers at the moment. Niger yeah, definitely uh, looking like the better team so far. in the stands here. Go on, building up from the back. really to find their feet 12 minutes in plenty of time yet of course against Michel Mboula, followed uh, Bul Hassan, deep to deny space, but couldn't resist having a bit of a nibble from behind, that's always going to be given as a foul. for the runner, flicked on. Pace on the right-hand side. Good attempt to hook the ball back in by Abune. He does win. First corner of the game for Gabon. Well, they haven't done much in open play so far, Gabon. What can they do from a set piece instead? men in and around the box for this one. Difficult to win the ball in the air when there's only five against nine defenders. They do still have the ball there, Gabon. Not enough on that attempted cross. The attempted volley, though, was interesting. Well, not dealt with. By Mbula. Niger can keep the attack going here. Plenty of men up. Lots of ambition being shown by uh, Ibrahim Yahaha's side so far. 
when they get the chance, they are flooding forwards. Plenty of bodies up there. Danger just uh, being penalised for a slightly late one on Mombo. Looking for the pace down that right-hand side of Abune once again. Throw goes against the Gabonese winger. Looks a, a bit like a shove in the back, but nothing given by the officials and Niger maybe with a chance to go on the attack again here. Danja puts the ball back inside, but oh. Sabo just couldn't take that ball in his stride. Good to see some of the locals adding a bit of colour to the sound tapestry of this game. Starting to uh, string a few passes together here. And it all breaks down as they approach the final third. Well, the foul goes against Devono. Gabonese captain. The coach thought it was a dive. I mean, it's a genuine effort to get the ball, but he has trodden on the toes of Musa Ishmael. There has Avono. Already got a yellow card in the first game. Needs to be careful. He's going to get into a card trouble and pick up a suspension. with the maximum of five games you only pick up suspension after three yellow cards so shouldn't really be a problem except for the uh, most combative of midfielders perhaps oh, lovely skills from danger oh, and he picks out a man on the edge of the area oh this is a glorious chance and Niger have taken the lead Well, the whistle goes, the offside flag is up. I'm sure VAR will have a, a double check of this. It's a beautifully worked move. And Abdul Keru put it away beautifully. Let's have another look. Well, that's tight. Very tight. Oh, I think. The linesman has got that one absolutely bang on right. Shouldn't take too long for VAR to confirm. I must say, it'd be no less than uh, Niger deserve if they were to take the lead, but that replay did appear to show Keru being, uh, cl well, not clearly offside, but certainly uh, a little bit offside. Always good to see the officials get one of those calls right. Not easy making that sort of call in real time with no replays. Now they've given the ball away, Niger. Again touch letting them down and then there's a foul by Keiru who may still be a, a little bit frustrated by his goal being chalked off and you see quite clearly half a body off 
it's not even close by VAR standards. Oh, that's a late one coming in from Nzay. And the referee's going to go back to that one. There might even be a first yellow card of the game. Just the trailing leg caught him. There is a yellow card. Mark Ian Zay. The CF Munana midfielder. Easily enough. Oh, that's a poor touch from Mangunga. Stad Manji, full back. Uh, Bulasan. Rather helps Gabon out with his own uh, poor first touch, letting the ball go out for a Gabon throw. Asked not to uh, cheat too far down the line. And the foul. There is Mula tried to bring the ball out from the back. Lovely play from Matuti. First really good attack for Gabon, and that's just been razzed over the bar by Abune. They worked that one well, the Panthers. All started really with some lovely play bot from uh, Randy Matuti. They then spread the ball out to the right hand side. Foul there goes against Mbula. Might be a space in behind him as well, but he does well to uh, turn on the afterburners and get back to do his uh, defensive duties. Slightly uh, frustrated look on the uh, coach of the Panthers, Ibalas to turn in. just lets the uh, ball run out of play. Oh, midway through the first half, Gabon nil, Niger nil. Abdul uh, Keru did have the ball in the back of the net for Niger. To be fair, they have been the better team in the opening 20 or so minutes, but the goal was uh, likely a judge to have been offside. chance to come forward. Bune tries to trick his way past. Does win a throw though. Just sends Gabon starting to see a bit more of the ball now in the attacking third. Still hasn't quite come together for them. Certainly haven't had quite the rocket start that they had against Mali. Again, having to come across. Centre back position. Well, they won the ball higher at the pitch this time, Gabon. Navona couldn't quite 
accelerate quickly enough. That's a cunning ball across the back of the defence. Well defended in the end by Ngunga. He's gone down. He went down quite a long time any, after any impact and he went down in instalments as well. He's played his man on side. In slight contact, but not sure enough contact to uh, justify his reaction. Which is the uh, Gabon chance earlier. Really struck it well at Brunei, but it's always rising. The end of, well, certainly the best move Gabon have produced in this match so far. about having a chat with the uh, Niger goalkeeper. forwards here. Munyeng haven't seen much of him in an attacking sense so far. It's a nice little touch from Avono. Keeps the ball in play just about, but didn't have enough support players around him. Niger emerged with the ball, and that's a searching crossfield ball, looking for the run of Keru. It's been very dangerous in the opening half an hour of this game. That's better though. Mayulu feeds the ball to Avono. And that's, uh, he may have got the ball, but he's gone through the player to get it. As uh, Gibrilla. That's the second yellow card of the game already. Not even half an hour in. Oh, and he scissored him as well. off his feet. Well, I've seen red cards given for those sort of challenges in the past. I think that was more of an orange. It's quite bad enough for the red card, but still. Opportunity knocks here for Gabon. Looks like Mbula fancies taking it again. Hit a free kick earlier, which he put straight into the wall, having mishit it. Five men lined up on the edge of the area, and I have to be honest, I'm not quite sure if that if that was a shot or not from uh, Samaki and Zay. I think it was a shot. Nearing the half hour mark, still Gabon nil, Niger nil. Gabon and that opens up now the opportunity to hit on the counter-attack 
good four in one run from Ngunga. Support on the outside. Gives the overlap as well. And that's a hat behind for a corner by Jabria. starting to uh, tot up here for Gabon. Six players in and around the area to aim at. Goes into the front post, headed away. There'll be another chance here to get the ball back into the area. Goes to the byline, cuts the ball back. Cut out at the near post. Kairou does well to win the ball, but then half trips over it. Gabon with a chance to keep the pressure on this Niger defence. Abdel Rahim didn't need to play that ball over the top. He could have just let it go out of play. Gets away with it though and eventually puts the ball out up near the halfway line. Gabon for the first time really in the game. I was about to say caps in the uh, Niger third of the pitch, but then Nayulu just uh, puts the ball out of play. Somehow, Anjo won a free kick there. Not convinced there was a whole lot of contact there, but the free kick goes into the air and it's been flicked on for a corner. Off the head of a Samarka Inzai. Sabah, the uh, Hammerby midfielder based in Sweden, goes across to take this one. It'll be an in swing at six men to aim at. He's gone short to Keiru. Tries to turn his man, wins another corner. And one of the Gabon players has gone down. Looks like it's uh, Jean Claude Ngunga. Hit him in a fairly private spot. Small delay while he tries to. Uh, himself back on his feet. It's not always so easy. Gunga won't be part of the defensive effort for this corner. Now come on, momentarily at least, down to ten men. We'll have to wait to be invited back onto the pitch by the referee. This time in swinging to the near post, headed away by Abuna. Picked up on the run by Matuti. Shot from distance, but it's gone well over the bar. So well played from Randy Matuti from uh, FC Libreville back in Gabon. The uh, end product wasn't quite there. Very much been the case for Gabon so far when they have had the ball. Started off a bit jittery, being under put under pressure time and time again by Niger. They've grown into the game, but still lacking a little bit of quality in the final third at the moment. Plenty of time to put that right. A 
Tutti again on the run. Put out by Shabria. Again on the edge of the area, but Abune dispossessed. Come on, win the ball again high up the pitch. Gunga had to work hard there, but couldn't quite bend that one round the corner for Abune. Ten minutes go before half-time, still nil-nil here in Tangier. Jet starting off very much the better side, Gabon coming back into it still. Apart from a, a disallowed strike for offside from Abdul Kairou. Not a lot for either goalkeeper to really worry about. For Avona. He does manage to uh, find a teammate, but he's been absolutely flattened. What's going on here? It looks like that was a, a quick reaction from the Niger players to try and make sure he was on his side and not lying on his back. Definite concern from both sets of players here. The game on striker. Well, that's a clash of heads, and he's gone out cold there. Lavono. It's a knockout. So we're going to have a, uh, a change at sooner. Nibela Saturnin would have liked the Gabon coach. Still not much in the way of movement. Emmanuel Lavona buys his trade with FC Torpedo in uh, Belarus. Classily put away the penalty in the third minute of their opening game against Mali. Did their captain, Avono. I think he's. Uh, Game. This tournament may be cut short here. Hard to tell. He was actually knocked out. Contact was to, to the side of the jaw. Doctors will have a look at him. There should be some sort of uh, check for any possible concussion before he goes back on the pitch. For the moment, Gabon having to do without their captain and striker. So it goes out. And goal kick. like a Verno. He's going to be back with us sooner than we thought. So you certainly, if, if he wasn't knocked out, it's just a question of a concussion check. Checking for the eyes, checking the reactions, which I'm sure is what the doctors were doing while he was on the floor. Or being walked off. Under his own steam, by the way, not in a stretcher. Kairou battling hard there, but doesn't get the better of Ngunga this time. He 
and opportunity on the edge of the area, but leaning back, and that's gone very high over the bar. Abdul uh, Mamouni. Saw a little bit of space opening up. You can see, though, the body shape leaning back on that one. Always going to go over the bar, even if it was on target. Five minutes to go before the break. Inferno doesn't win that one in the air. Might be a bit more tentative, I think. Challenging in the air, certainly for the next few minutes anyway. It's a good tackle in midfield. does win that one in the air, doesn't win the second one though. Well, instead falls to Mombo. It's Mombo again, the left back, number 12. Not the best of passes. Gabon do get the throw. Oh, nice turn from Matuti. Still Matuti on the overlap. Thrashed away. Niger defence, oh, what, three, four Gabon players up in that attack. The rebound just fell between two of them. Oh, scruffy. Gabon do get the ball on the edge of the area, but... Just being a little bit too cunning there. A bit of a 50-50, really. They had, they had a, a hold of each other's shirts. Oh, now, this is dangerous. Five men up here. They won the ball high up the pitch. They're flooding forward. There were too many of them up there. Too many cooks spoiling the broth, I think. The Niger. Two men made the same run to the left. Abdul Kairou didn't get the pass he wanted. Free kick for that foul on uh, Muniang. It's bang central, but quite a long way out. May not prevent Gabon having a go direct. Oh, don't like to see that hand on the shoulder and the player goes down holding his face. Ball in, and the keeper didn't make it. He's back in again, and that's a great save at the second attempt from the keeper, and then headed off the line. Well, that's the closest Gabon have come to a goal. Yan Nain did well in the end. Flapped at the first cross, very good save for the second. And then headed off the line by Masudi. And we have a VAR check. Chipped into the near post, but no one was really alert to that one. Now we will have a little stop. Now, what is the VAR check for? Well, the replays were not exactly illuminating. Didn't appear to be anything uh, there for Gabon. At Goldmouth scramble. The last minute of the first half. Still nil nil here in Tangiers. It's been a good game though. Niger 
have been uh, very much in it. Started off definitely as a better team. Ebon have improved as the half has gone on. And there may just be another chance here for Gap for uh, Niger in the final moments of this first half. Ball is just allowed to run out of play. of added time. We did have the uh, injury timeout for Emmanuel Lavono. So then, can I, the team, make a telling move here in first half stoppage time? forward flicked on from the shoulder I think really of uh, Bull Hassan Side flag goes up. It's hard to see how the draw would really do either team any good. They need to win a game, and looking at the certainly uh, looking at the opening round of fixtures, and you'd have to think that Egypt and Mali who faced off earlier today are arguably the two strongest teams in this group for these got both of these teams their best chance for a winner is against each other and whoever does win this game puts them right into the conversation going into the final round of matches on Saturday in this group let's see uh, Gabon take on defending champions Egypt here in Tangiers, while uh, Niger take on Mali down at the Prince Moulay Abdullah Stadium in Rabat. <laughs> Cry of anguish from Musa Ishmael. It stayed in play, but actually curved out and came back in. It's over the top, and it's not been dealt with by the defence. Wilson Fauster went for that, missed it. Fortunately for him, though, Abdul Keru didn't quite time his run right either. a nice forward ball and now there's maybe a little bit of space here for Gabon but a challenge coming in and a chance in the final seconds this will be the last uh, action of this first half free kick for Gabon too wide to have a shot Really sure why the keeper would want a wall, even a one man wall from there. All chipped into the near post, and the bicycle kick hits Matuti. I 
think there might have been a handball in there somewhere. Nice delivery. Great effort on the uh, volley. That is the last meaningful action of the first half here in Tangier. It's uh, Gabon nil Niger nil. Niger did find find the net through uh, Abdul Kairu early in the first half, but that was uh, ruled off. But offside since then, Gabon have uh, grown into the game. It's a pretty even so far though everything to play for in the second half and if either team can eke out a win here it's a huge step towards the semi-finals of this tournament however at the break here in Tangiers it's uh, Gabon nil Niger nil A look then at the statistics from that first half Gabon edging possession in the end but I'm sure if we took a snapshot of that after 15 minutes it would have been heavily in Niger's favor eight goal attempts as well from Gabon but a lot of those from a distance certainly not a lot for uh, Yan name the Niger goalkeeper to worry about in that first half yellow card apiece for Samaki Inze and Ibrahim Jibria Been, as you see that it's, it's one of those occasions where the statistics really do tell the story it has been a very even first half all to play for in the second so match day two in group b of the 2023 under 23 africa cup of nations saw 2011 champions gabon take on tournament debutants niger in tangier Honestly, in the opening 15 or 20 or so minutes, Niger very much the better team. Despite an occasional effort, a goal. Good save here from Jezreel Andon, the replacement Gabon keeper after Francois Bacal he was sent off in their opener against Mali. And they did have the ball in the net as well, Niger. Midway through the first half, a slick move that, but Abdul Kairu saw his effort ruled out for offside. Jeremy Abune here tried to uh, reply in kind, but saw his shot go just over the bar. Gabon certainly improved as the half went on, but still just lacking a bit of incision in the final third, struggling to make Yan Naim work hard between the sticks for Niger. A couple of uh, flutters there from Jezreel Endor, sorry, from uh, Yan Ney. Gabon still unable to find the target. And so we go into the break. But all square. Gabon nil. Niger nil.
to uh, Tangier then it's uh, match day two in Group B of the 2023 under 23 Africa Cup of Nations it's Gabon nil Niger nil at half time Niger very much dominating the opening 15 20 minutes or so Gabon working very hard to get back into the game no one could quite break the deadlock just as yet though Abdul Kairou did find the net for Niger but that was chalked off for offside it was a tight decision but a correct one from the officials as confirmed by VAR and this a game really whoever wins this is in prime position to challenge Mali and Egypt for a place in the semi-finals now no substitutions have been made as far as we are aware doesn't look like the fourth official has got the board out for any any reason so looks like uh, both teams unchanged for the start of the second half at least five substitutes allowed of course per side I'm sure we'll see most if not all of those during the second half Would have done their net checks. And uh, Kamu Youssef, our referee, is about to get us underway. In fact, we do have a change at half time. So, Giovanni Mayulu, who was uh, Pretty quiet in that first half, being replaced by uh, Andre Jordiella, an 18-year-old midfielder from Manga Sports. And as the second half gets underway here, Niger, all in white, kicking from right to left in this second half. change effect Gabon in this game that's a, a nice ball through to start with a little bit of space over on that side is the new man Ella who uh, seems to have popped out over onto the right hand side at least for the moment I do wonder actually if uh, Jeremy Obune the number seven might move into a more central position he's probably uh, Gabon's brightest player in that first half Dungunga Wins a corner for Gabon. In swinging corner coming up, four men in the area, a couple more hanging around the edge of the D. Flicks away, falls to a Gabon foot, but the shot well blocked by Danger. Whipped in again. Cleared by Jabria. Danger. Try to uh, wriggle his way out of trouble. The number seven's on both sides, actually. Had a good first half. Nice effort to try and just uh, feed that one in to the edge of the area strong defending preventing the run good to see Avono back on his feet after a clash of heads in that first half left him on the ground under pressure there Gabon coach under pressure as well after losing the opener 3-1 against Mali opens up on the edge of the area but oh, Amadou Sabo just couldn't uh, wrap his foot around it or keep it down it was the right idea
wonder which coach is going to blink first and really go for the win here. Surely they're not going to play out a draw. Surely one or if not both teams are going to go for it here. The best chance to win a game to try and secure a place in the semi-finals. Certainly Gabon needs something there. Next game is against Egypt, the defending champions who have looked very good so far. Okay, they're not scoring a bucket load of goals, but they are looking technically very accomplished. On well, the ball, lost by Matuti. Opportunity knocks here. It opened up just for a moment. But keeper did well getting off his line, getting there before Abdel Kairou. He stayed down as well as uh, Jezra Lendon. Side as well. Okay. A small amount of contact there, rather being milked by the goalkeeper. Now space opens up on this near side for Ungunga, the right back. It's combined well with Abune number of occasions so far in the game. They've done well to win the ball higher up the pitch this time. That was Nze. Attempt a crossfield ball from Matuti. So that's snuffed out. A lovely turn by uh, Bull Hassan. The whistle goes. Can't get the ball back. Sound ball, apparently. We're going to have a yellow card here. Challenge over on the far side of the pitch. Matuti, I think, is the man who's gone down. Use of an elbow, I think he's saying, from uh, Salifu Danja. Or was it uh, Kulabali Chik? Ah, Kulabali Chik. Right back. There, that's the number two for Gabon. His name came up, who was most definitely not a person booked. That was Wilson Fauster, yeah, Gabon centre back, rather than Kulabali Chiku, who really was booked, who is the right back for Niger. Not a lot of space in midfield. The whistle goes yet again. Looking for the run, but too much on it. Goes uh, easily yeah. play for a goal kick. DJ hey. coach ahead of the game was saying that yeah, Gabon. Very dangerous. He still considered them challengers for the title. Despite losing their opener, pointed towards uh, Argentina's experience at the recent uh, World Cup at the end of last year, where they lost their opener and went on to lift the title, ending uh, Lionel Messi's search for the one title that he was missing from his Palmares. Gunga, can he bring that one in? No, he can't. Just a little bit too much on that pass from Abune.
opportunity knocks here though for Niger. Keiru in behind for the moment. Checks back, looks for support. Abdurrahim. All the way back now. Niger, and then they give the ball away needlessly. Second bite of the cherry for Rinze in midfield. Still couldn't find the pass to uh, Nguyen-Yang. And Niger have the ball again. Space on the far side, but couldn't quite get the head on it before the ball went out to play. Clearly out for uh, Kudabali Chik. Could uh, head it back to a teammate. Nain. It's strong play from Bulasan. Winning his fair share in the air is the Niger centre forward, but not getting a huge amount of support around him. Needs someone a little bit closer. Amadou Sabo, for an example, needs to be able to push up a bit more from midfield. Try and provide the link. The shot comes in from distance from Michel Mboula, but that was never really threatening the goal or the goalkeeper. We saw him have a go from a free kick in the first half, which went straight into the wall. in the back, Mungunga. for the foul and got it. Opportunity now for Niger attacking down the right hand side. It looks like Mbula got across just in time. And then some canny play. Just made sure of a little bit of contact. Not much, has to be said. trying to speed things up but just need to do the basics well at the moment and now it's uh, Keru combining well and he's been given the penalty the challenge came in and Abdel Rahim the full back on the overlap and the referee is pointed to the penalty spot just before the hour mark here in Tangiers The challenge came in from Mbula. Just lost his balance, clumsy. Absolutely no reason to go in there for Mbula. The player is going away from goal. He's just charged in. Well, the Gabon coach said he would forgive some mistakes from what is a very young under-23 squad. But... That is just shooting yourself in the foot. It's 
So, 59th minute. An opportunity for Niger to score their first ever goal at an under-23 Africa Cup of Nations. Jezreel Andong. The Gabon keeper tasked with stopping this penalty. It's the captain, Abdul Mamouni, who's stepping up for this, the uh, FC Sheriff midfielder, applying his trade in Moldova. The referee just fussing over the, the rules and regulations for the uh, rest of the players. But it's, uh, that's a particularly short run-up from Mamouni. So Mamouni against Andong. Mooney, right footed, superb penalty, Niger into the lead here, on the hour mark, and it's the captain, it's put uh, the menace into the lead. Beautifully taken spot kick, by the way, the keeper went the right way, but he wasn't stopping that one right in the low, lower corner. Great spot kick. Cool, calm and collected. And Niger now in the lead, Gabon. Well, if they lose Gabon, they will be out of the tournament with a game to spare. Quickly on the attack, and the uh, keeper couldn't hold that cross. And the second cross. Goes straight out for a goal kick from Ngunga. So as things stand, Niger and Egypt would be top of the group on four points apiece and a uh, plus one goal difference with Mali one point behind on three after their beating of Gabon on the opening match day. That would make Niger against Mali a huge game, a draw there for Niger and they'd be through to the semi-finals one game away, or sorry, two games away potentially one or two games away from a possible place in the Olympics. I don't think many people would have guessed that at the start of the tournament. What have Gabon got up their sleeve now? One substitution already being made by a coach to turn in. More options available on the bench. Miscommunication midfield giving the ball away cheaply. Gabon. Spaces will start to open up now for Niger on the counter attack as uh, Gabon need to press further forward. It's a lovely flighted ball in, but it's a little bit too close to the goalkeeper. I guess the right way on the penalty did uh, Jezreel Andon, but quality of the spot kick just too good. down here, it's uh, Gunga. I don't think his teammates would be too, be too happy with Gunga there. They had a chance to go on the counter attack and he stayed down and the referee blew his whistle. There's nothing there either. What a waste. Long 
diagonal ball onto the edge of the area. Matuti picks up the pieces, still Matuti. Well, he's been one of their brightest sparks as the number six for Gabon, but ran into too much traffic. like it's given Niger a little boost of energy. They're absolutely buzzing around now on the attack down the right-hand side. Yet again, it's Danger. Goes back instead. The ball rather given away by uh, Cheik. Well, Gabon need to get their act together and fast here. You've got about 30 minutes or so to get back into this game. Certainly it's a loss and they are definitely out of the tournament. Even a draw would leave them in dire straits. A lovely play from Kairou in the pick of the uh, bunch so far for Niger. Sabo eventually wafting a shot over the bar. Play on the right hand side. This has opened up for a moment. Oh, and Matuti just put that wide. It was great effort on this near side to dig out the cross from Andreella. Then Matuti couldn't quite wrap his foot round it. Enough to test the goalkeeper. Getting closer though, Gabon. See just how close here. Oh, not as close as I thought. Approaching the uh, midway mark of the second half. Niger now in the lead thanks to an Abdul Mamouni penalty. And on the attack here through Abdul Kairou, who is felled by Roy uh, Munyang. Really quite surprised that's not a yellow card actually. <laughs> Sliding out of control. But now, opportunity knocks for Gabon. Ball well picked up by Avono. Finds space on this near side as the number 10 tries to drive it across goal. Claims for a penalty, nothing given. turn for Hassan he's worked the defense quite well that's some heavy strapping on the right knee of Wilson Fausta there <laughs> 22 minutes plus stoppages to go you have to think that a second goal would wrap things up nicely for Niger but they've got to be careful of Gabon on the counter-attack, here's Avono. Rather, Ella tries to whip it across to find Matuti. Eventually he does. And the 
throw goes Gabon's way. This ball in. Well defended though by Niger, showing good discipline at the back, keeping their shape. It's a bit of a, a clattering though from Abdullah Boulassan. Roy uh, Munyang. Tangle of legs really, nothing much more. Changes coming up then. And, uh, Jeremy Ayono prepares to take to the pitch based in France at uh, US Boulogne. He's up in the uh, northwest of the country, up near the uh, Channel Tunnel that takes gives you the opportunity to go across to the UK. Just a matter of minutes. to think it's going to be an attacking substitution. Although, you know, actually more of a, a right back. I wonder if that's going to be a reshuffle of shape for Gabon. Maybe going to a back three. Push the uh, full backs up into midfield. Statistics haven't really changed much so far in this second half. Fairly even. But now, Nebon do come forward. Ella twisting and turning. Eventually bumped off. It wasn't strong enough. And Niger, as the game starts to stretch in the last 20 minutes, starting to find space. And here's Kairou. And it's still Kairou. He avoided the challenge, but he didn't quite manage to find space for the shot. But he's managed to. Get past another player, and then the header comes in from Bulasan, and he completely mistimed it. Before the corner, we're going to have a couple of changes. Jean Claude Ngunga is going to be replaced by Jeremy Ayono. Right back for a light right back, and now uh, Floris Jav. When he plays out on the left, or maybe it's a support striker. And a bit of surprise there to see Abune. Uh, Jeremy Abune coming off. Changes too. Uh, Salih Fudzanja comes off for uh, Sadu Mohammed. Uh, Abdul Boulassan looks absolutely spent. He's been replaced here by uh, Mohamedou Mubarak. Back in Niger. Long ball over the top. Well, one in the air. Come on. You can see now committing numbers forward. Really clicked for them though as yet. He can't put the ball down there. He's miles offside 
is uh, the substitute, Flory Sharf. And the cross goes straight into the arms of the keeper. Collapses gratefully onto the ball. Niger now getting to the point where they really just want to uh, run down the clock. That's a clumsy challenge from Mubarak. The knee into the, the back of uh, Lin Yang's knee. That's going to hurt. move about five minutes ago nearly saw Abdul Kairou make space and then well Bulasan I think it was just moments before Bulasan was substituted the number 17 he looked tired he looked tired as he tried to get on the end of this as well just didn't re really get off the ground at all Is it going to be okay to come back on? A bit of a slip from Mbula as he took the free kick. Munyang no! still waiting to be uh, asked back on by the uh, referee. Should normally have been asked back on by now. The referee's forgotten about him. play from Gabon but then the cross comes in it was not particularly well hit they do get a corner out of it Which opportunity to try and build the pressure on this young Niger team still only five players in and around the area surprise Gabon not putting uh, more assets up into the box with this one but more it's been Missed by the goalkeeper, he came for it, missed the punch. Not the first time we've seen him uncertain under the high ball. Yan name. And Mubarak wins himself a free kick. Challenge coming in from uh, Michel Mbula. Look at this, ball comes in, you think the keeper's going to catch it. I don't understand why he didn't try and catch that one, it was straight at him, not particularly hard. And there's the problem. If you try and punch it, you get it slightly wrong. He said it's so bad, he's actually punched it onto his own foot. Oh, Laberto claiming for something, anything. I'm sure if there's anything there, VAR will find it. VAR is checking. Besides, there's nothing to get upset about. So, 12 minutes plus stoppages to go. Niger still leading by goal to nil. Gabon still struggling to work the goalkeeper. That's not the first time we've seen him flap it across. If that gives Gabon a clue as to what they need to do next. And they stream forwards now. Down the oh. left hand side, but. Well, Randy Matuti, who's been a, a bright spark for Gabon, just in a bit of a tangle there. It's not helping uh, Gabon's case here. The referee is uh, 
is blowing his whistle quite a lot. There hasn't been so much of a flow to this game. The long ball comes in, the keeper comes for it, and he's very lucky there. Came for it, I'm not sure if he was trying to punch it or catch it. Didn't really get any contact, and as he came down, I think he's half landed on uh, Mubarak on his way down and also managed to get a chunk of the ball as well. Oh, look at this. Ball comes in, comes for it, gets nowhere near it. And trips over Mubarak, who was already down, in fact. Well, Mubarak, I mean, there is slight contact with the arm, but surely not enough to be rolling around on the floor. fans finally a few smiles of the camera now they team a goal up with 10 minutes to go long ball pretty aimless to be honest in any real shape to Gabon's play. Long diagonal ball though finds Matuti. Barak's back on the pitch. The pressing is good. Matuti on the turn but puts it high and wide. Lovely first touch. Only one thing on Matuti's mind. Flicked on, and Niger still, perhaps naively, they've got four men up there. they're trying to avoid is being hemmed into their own third of the pitch and just under a barrage of pressure best way to fight against that is to uh, go back on the attack and the unlucky that went out for a goal kick it's good though to see some ambition from a team that's already leading it was from a set piece here against Gabon but Bono has a very little service the captain up front and they've been given the ball away cheaply here opportunity knocks for Gabon lovely slaloming run from uh, Munieng eventually finds Matuti eventually hustled out of it and now there's an opportunity for Niger on the counter attack but the ball isn't released early enough Gabon have uh, numbers back and they go all the way back to the goalkeeper that's the first time we've seen that and I think a, a clue that the Niger players know exactly what's at stake in the last minutes of this match Buhler has gone down somebody touched his shoulder time for lying on the ground injured for the Gabon players now the result stays like this they will be out of the competition with both Egypt and Niger on four points there'll be no way that Gabon could catch them up in the final game with only three points available Now a 
free kick over on the far side. Some defending to be done here. For that, we're going to have a change. And uh, Amadou Sabo, who's been pretty quiet, the uh, Amabi midfielder, is going to be replaced by uh, Abdul Rashid. And 21 years of age, already has experience in the CAF. Champions League and Confederation Cup with his team uh, Nijelek, who are real giant of Niger football. As the cross comes in, it's straight into the side netting. The uh, keeper happy to see that. Just uh, go out of play. Nice play from Ayono. Still going, Ayono manages to get the ball to Jav. And then given away by Abono. Too passive in possession, the number 10. Keiru twists, turns, keeps possession. Smart play from the number nine. Doing well to keep the ball there, but eventually hustled out of it with five minutes to play. Niger player down, looks like it could be a bit of cramp. Yeah, you can see it there. Oh, shaking it up in the stands. Shaking it up on the pitch as well. So, last uh, two changes about to happen for Gabon. A final desperate roll of the dice from Ibela Saturni. It's Musa Ishmael. It's uh, been stretched it off. He'll, I'm sure, pop back up onto the pitch any moment now. We're going to have those substitutions. Well, Randy Matuti has been a handful, but his race is run. He's replaced by Owen and Corey. And uh, Andre Alla, who came on at half time, has already been hooked as well. Replaced by Ulrich Enemé Ella. Plays for the. Uh, plays for Angers in France. Former French youth international. Jarve. Jiving, but losing the ball to Cairo. Cairo again bursts onto the seat, cuts the ball back. Great opportunity this for Niger to make it to. Well, it's blocked, and the shot comes in, deflects wide for a corner. Oh, Mamouni. What, he might grab a second. Cut away just before the shot. <laughs> Ishmael Musa makes way. Philippe Boué replaces him. Some fresh legs then in midfield. Shot comes in, deflected away by Mbula. Now maybe an opportunity. Mombo. They still can't put things together, Gabon. Just a couple of minutes plus stoppages. 
It's not a huge amount of stoppages in this second half either, really. It looks like Group B is going to be down. She does three teams going into the final match day. The ball is hooked over the top, looking for the run of Kairu. Kairu tries to cut back inside, but it's a hustled off of the ball. By Jeremy Ayono, slightly fresher man, the second hand second half substitute. Niger, but well, I was about to say Niger keeping the ball quite comfortably before miscontrol from Abdel Rahim, who won the penalty, which is uh, what so far separates the two sides. Ooh, looking for Kairou, just bounces out of play. Well, there's some tired looking bodies out there. Remember, the game's coming thick and fast in this competition every three days. What are hot and humid conditions? Chipped forward, miscontrolled by Nayono. There are five minutes left then for Gabon to save their tournament. If Gabon, a reminder if Gabon cannot score in these at five minutes of injury time, they are out of the competition. Manuel Lovono looks frustrated there up top. Gesticulating towards his teammates. He wants some sort of service. He's had virtually nothing. Gabon captain. A nice turn in his own area. Mombo. Then the pass out. Not up to the same standard. And that's been pretty much the story of Gabon's night so far. Some great moments, but they haven't really functioned as a team here. The game quickly gets underway. Gabon can't afford to waste any time at all. Defensive header goes across goal, picked up by Ancori. Still no way through for Gabon. And again, losing the ball in midfield, hacked away. Anywhere will do now. Oh, the 2011 champions waited 12 years for their return to this competition. They've returned with a whimper, not with a bang. Two losses out of two so far. Enough to put them out of the tournament. Well played from Yono, but time is something he doesn't have here. All chipped into the area, headed away at the at the far post. And eventually put out a play by Kairou, who's coming back to do his defensive duties. It's a man of the match performance, if ever I've seen one. And again, the ball breaks Niger's way, and Gabon have got plenty of players forward here. Mubarak tries to turn. Kairou hasn't done enough to win the uh, man of the match in this game. It's gone to uh, Abdul Mamouni, the Niger captain, put away the winning penalty, or what looks like being the winning penalty. Oh. 
have on keeping the ball. They've got one minute left now. Nice bit of interplay on the edge of the area, but eventually just running into a knot of players. And now opportunity for Niger. If the ball can get through to Kairou, it can get through to Kairou. One defender to beat, cuts inside. Brings more players into it, gets the ball back again, Kairou, and slows things down. Very sensible, clever play. It's put out for a Niger throw, which I suspect will not be taken particularly quickly. The bar Ek wins a corner as well. I think that's pretty much going to be it for Gabon. Panthers. The Panthers. Have been uh, declawed in this game. They don't, just haven't really looked dangerous. Niger, though, have been organised, disciplined. And they've shown skill when they've needed it as well. And Niger have won. Gabon are out of the under-23 Africa Cup of Nations. Two games, two losses for the 2011 champions on their return to this competition. An Abdul Mamouni penalty on the hour mark. Enough to separate these two sides. But Niger joint top of the table with Egypt going into the final match day coming up on Saturday with Mali one point in behind. And it's Mali who Niger will face in that final round of matches, knowing that if they can avoid defeat there, they will be through to the semi-finals. Meanwhile, Gabon will go into their final game with the defending champions, Egypt, already out of the competition, how will they react to that? Will they go out with a bang? Will they go out with a whimper? Well, we'll find out in three days' time. But the Niger fans celebrate their first ever win at this level. Gabon players. Rejected. They've still got to play another game, already knowing they've been dumped out of the competition. That cannot be an easy place to be. It's all too much for Samarke and Zay. Being consoled by teammates and the coaching staff. Travelling knot of uh, Niger fans will be celebrating, I think, hard into the night here in Morocco. Sort of look like they celebrating already. So there are the final match stats. The uh, total attempts actually quite even in the end. The possession, well, 55 45 didn't really change in the second half. Passing accuracy dropped slightly for Niger, but they were playing slightly longer ball on the counter-attack in the second half as Gabon pressed men forward. 47 fouls in that game, that's far too many, really. It wasn't a, a violent game at all. Then Cristaldo was playing for Newell's Old Boys not too long ago, Racing Club, the last Argentinian champs.